You may have heard of Calgary's new diamond intersection. It's where McLeod Trail intersects with 162 Avenue South going west and Sun Valley Boulevard going east. You may have seen some of the theoretical videos. But what is it like to actually drive it? Now, for the purposes of this video, I won't worry about driving straight through in McLeod and I won't worry about any right turns through this intersection. So first example, you're going south on McLeod and you want to go east on Sun Valley Boulevard. And one thing you may notice when you come around is the lines painted on the road can be a little bit confusing. But once you find the proper lane, you're okay. In fact, from the ground view level, you don't really notice the strange crossover pattern at all. It looks normal. Now here, we are going straight west over McLeod Trail. Again, it's just a matter of choosing the correct lanes. Seems straightforward enough. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that the two right lanes are the wrong ones if you do want to go to the shopping center, and it's at this point you have to make that decision. Once you're past right here, it's too late. You're going straight or you're turning right. Likewise, if you're going to east, straight east from 162 to Sun Valley Boulevard, uh, it's those two lanes um, towards the right, and at this point, the two lanes on the right, you just stay in them. Pretty much the mirror image uh, going east and west. Now, if you're coming either from the east, on uh, Sun Valley Boulevard or from the south from McLeod Trail, headed north I should say, and turning east and you're headed for the uh, shopping center, the Shovel Shopping Center, you must get into this lane right away and you are committed to making that left turn on Shovel Boulevard South and there on the left is the shopping center. Now if you're headed west and you want to turn south onto McLeod Trail, uh, you get into that leftmost lane. And what's interesting is it's also a different route to the same shop shopping center as you can see here. And for along the video we'll follow where that road leads. And if you're headed north on McLeod and you want to turn west onto 162nd Avenue South, it's pretty straightforward here as well. Um, not much to say there, other than if you look to your right, you see traffic going the other way, which was a little interesting. And if you're headed east and you're turning north, you actually have two lanes to choose from and what I like about this is those two lanes as you'll see go on for a fairly long time so there is no big rush to merge left. Now if you're headed south on McLeod and your destination is the Shawville Shopping Center as it turns out you actually don't go through the intersection at all. You go right underneath it and you merge up with that, you remember that second route to the shopping center I mentioned earlier? Well, you go under, you go through, and on the left is the lane I pointed out to you earlier, which this merges into, and it's sort of the long way. You have to go out back of the entire complex and then come around, but it does get you there. Now, I can see a lot of people leaving the shopping center to head north on McLeod Trail. And just want to point out that uh, merging left was easy on the Sunday afternoon that I drove, but uh, could be a little tricky when the traffic's heavy. 
and uh, I've got to check a lot of the two uh, arrows going the opposite direction in the, what looks like the same lane on the very left. I mean, they make sense, but anyway, uh, that's it for this intersection and that for this video.